Hello craft team, in this video we shall be making this lovely scrunchy ruffle headband. Let's get started. Welcome back. If you're new here, you're highly welcome. I am Ibiwari. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. So, all items used for this project will be in the description box below. For this, the fabric I used for this headband is called Damask, but you can use any fabric or any cotton material to make it. The length i used for it is um 40 inches by 3 inches 40 inches length 3 inches width so if your fabric has uh, the good and the bad side check that out identify which is the good side then you fold it just a bit about half an inch towards the bad side so you cut out two fabrics your two fabric should be 40 inches length, 3 inches width. Two fabric of the same length. So we fold half inch on both of our fabrics, both sides of both of our fabrics. I'm done folding and sewing. When you fold, you sew down. I'm done folding and sewing both sides. So you see the sewn, we have four parts sewn. So the two ends of our fabric will be sewn by half an inch. Then you bring your Alice headband. I'm using the small size for this project. P place it at the center and make a mark on both sides. Place it at the center of your fabric and make a mark on both sides. So you do the same for the second fabric also. I'm just going ahead to show you so that you know that the same thing you did for one fabric, you do it for the other fabric. Just go ahead to show you that. You place your Alice band at the center of your fabric. They make a mark on both sides of your Alice, back, uh, Alice band on your fabric. Now I've done that. Know that you're doing this to, to the other end of your fabric. You're doing it on both ends of your fabric. The same thing you're doing, you're doing it on both ends of your fabric. Now use your tape to measure out two inches. From that, your one side of your marked, that you marked your fabric with your Alice band, you measure two inches then we'll do it on the other side again of the marked uh the earlier marked alice band on the fabric you measure two inches now on the edge of my fabric i'll measure three inches you can take your time, go over the video again so that you get it. The measurements are nothing to be scared of. Just take your time, watch the video, you understand. So you mark 3 inches on the edge of the fabric. On this other side too, I'll measure 3 inches and make a mark. Now I will join for my 2 inches measurement, trace it out to my 3 inches measurement towards the edge of the, the end of the fabric. So now you are joining from your 2 inches you measured to the 3 inches mark you made.
So you're just linking them up. It's as easy as, as that. You're just linking them up. You can take your time, go through the video and understand it. Slow it down to get it. If you're finding it difficult, but it's not difficult, trust me. So at the end, you get this Y-like uh, shape. You do this on all ends of the fabric. Your two fabrics, you do the same thing on both ends. This measurement we did, you're doing it on both ends of your fabric. So now, remember this, and this tracing is done on the wrong side of your fabric. So now you bring, bring both of your fabrics together, the good side facing each other. The good side of your fabric facing each other, then you sew. You sew from those uh, traced parts. You sew, then sew by the side. You're sewing from your traced line, then from this traced line, you sew to the, those other parts, then you sew straight down to the other end of the fabric. So you just follow your trace line and sew. So I'm done sewing. I'm done sewing. So this is just technically bringing our both fabrics together. So you see my trace line. That is how I just sewed it. Sewed it. So there is an opening. I'll just go ahead and cut off the S's from this my Y-like shape area. I'll just go ahead and use my scissors and cut off the S's. Please be careful, don't cut your sewn, your sewn part. So you just go ahead and carefully cut out the S's. So remember you're cutting out on the other end too, where you have the same tracing. Then you give a notch so your uh, fabric will lap well when you turn it inside out. We notch both ends, both sides. We notch both sides to help our fabric relax well when we turn it inside out. So do the same for these two. I'll cut out the excess on this part too. So now it's time to turn the fabric inside out to the good side. Just got to sew my fabric inside out. I'm done turning my fabric inside out. I'll go ahead to iron it. I'll go ahead to iron my fabric. So after ironing, I'll make a straight sewing from those and uh, uh, the two inches measurement area i'll take it straight down to meet the other side also so i'm done ironing and making my stitch these two inches mark is the remember is our mark for our headband so i'll just sew it straight down i sewed it straight down from here to the to meet the other end So here comes our magic. Here comes our magic. If you've watched up to this point and you've not joined the craft team, what are you waiting for? Click that uh, subscribe button now and join the craft team. So I'll just go ahead and pass my Alice band through it. Just gently pass my Alice band through it and you see the magic happen. You see the magic happen. For your thread, you can go ahead and cut it off. So just gently fit it. Once one side of the, the edge of your Alice band has gone through and it has gotten to this other edge, then you use your glue gun use your apply your glue gun with your candlestick in it allow it to be hot when you turn it on allow it to be hot when your when it's hot you see it is ready the candle 
wax will be coming out of it then you apply it generously in that end to close it off to seal it apply it generously inside on your band your alice band to seal it off then you press and hold so that it will close firmly then when that is done we start pulling we start pulling to form our ruffles so excited with the outcome of this headband i'm so excited so you just go ahead to keep pulling and pulling to get your ruffles so gently pull and i mean gently pull to get your ruffles Your ruffles are forming and it's looking beautiful. So you just go ahead and pull it gently. So that is why the other end is sealed so that your with our glue gun so that it stays in place as you're pulling. It doesn't move off. It stays in place while we are pulling to form our ruffles. So you can make your measurements, you can take a longer measurement if you want your ruffles to be fuller and you can make the width of your measurements, wide, uh, make take a wider width so that your ruffles, the, the both ends of your ruffle will come out bigger. So I've, I've successfully moved all in so I'll close the other end the same way I did at the beginning. Here comes the look. Just me being a baby girl with this beautiful scrunchy ruffle headband. Tell me you don't like it. It's looking so beautiful. I so love this headband. It can serve both for casual and formal look. So if you've not joined the crafting, please click on that subscribe button now and join the craft team for more headwear tutorials fashion accessories diys and millinery tips and lots and lots to come i love this look so you can try it out and let's get to know your thoughts and if you've learned anything from this video kindly give us a thumbs up kindly like and share this video Thanks for watching. So we meet again next time. Take care of you. And like I always say, be creative.